Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have dealt with solids, liquids and gas. We also dealt with interconversion of state of matter from solid to liquid, from liquid to gas and again from gas to liquid and liquid to solid. So in this chapter, we are going to deal mainly with the evaporization. So we have learned that change of liquid to gaseous state is known as the vaporization vaporization do you know that evaporation is also change from liquid to gas state only but there is lot of difference from vaporization and evaporization the both also does the same work that is change from liquid to gaseous state but there is some difference in conversion so let's be so see those differences so it is in another process in which liquid changes into vapor so liquid changes into vapor this is an another process by which liquid changes into vapor state but it is not similar as vaporization or boiling process it is totally different from vaporization or boiling process though vaporization and boiling process are the process which convert from liquid to gas only or vapor only they have lot of difference so what is the difference so the first difference is evaporization takes place at all temperature evaporation is basically change from liquid to gas but evaporation takes place at all temperature whereas vaporization or boiling takes place at particular temperature say 100 degree celsius so this is this is our first differentiation if they ask you define evaporation also you should write same thing that is change of liquid to gas state at a all temperature all temperature is very important you should write all temperature liquid to gas at all temperature that gives you the full marks so the second uh, differentiation is evaporation is a slow and gradual process whereas vaporization is a rapid process so evaporation is slow process if you keep evaporation at sunlight it will evaporate slowly but when you keep in a gas stove it boils fastly it evaporates fastly so evaporation is a slow process whereas boiling or va vaporization is a fast and violent process evaporation takes place only at a surface of a liquid whereas vaporization takes place over all liquid what do you mean by that so that is if you take a water and kept in a sun if we keep in a sun so let uh, let me add some water so evaporation takes place at only surface means where the sunlight is more at this areas at this areas the evaporation will takes place but whereas boiling whereas boiling takes place throughout the liquid all the liquid will boil and all the liquid will evaporate evaporation takes place only at a surface of a liquid whereas boiling all the part of a liquid that covers us a part uh, third differentiation let's we move on through the fourth differentiation evaporation has cooling effect whereas vaporization does not produce any effects so for example for example if you walk through a lake if you walk through a lake or pond you will feel that very cool that place is very cool why because that place is having the evaporization whereas when you go for an stove gas stove if you boil that and if you add, if you boil that by adding liquid you will find that hot if you go through the boiling water you will feel hot why the, this process the this process what i said in the beach process that is evaporization and this process boiling is known as the vaporization or boiling so evaporation gives the cooling effects whereas boiling gives the it does not change or it gives the hot effects also so there is a rate of evaporation depends upon factors there are some rate of evaporation 
which depends upon the following factor means if these factors are uh, suitable for that thing evaporation will be more evaporation will be more what are those factors let's we learn about them the temperature of a liquid the temperature of liquid if temperature is more the evaporation will be also more if temperature more evaporation will be more okay so if you keep dry clothes in in summer in a summer evaporation will be more okay if you if you keep in winter evaporation will be less we will deal why the evaporation will be less in uh, rainy season or winter season okay year only it is there okay so the second rate uh, second point where the rate of evaporation depends is area of expose as i said earlier if uh, if you take in water so evaporation will only takes place at water only so why not to keep the same water in a saucer means in the plate so if you keep in a plate means the surface area will be more surface area will be more and evaporation will be also more so evaporation depends upon the surface area where it is exposed so the third is nature of a liquid nature of a liquid means if you keep water it will evaporate slowly whereas if you take a sanitizer it evaporates fastly okay that depends upon the nature of a liquid how the liquid is formed flow of air above the liquid okay so this is also a factor which affects the rate of evaporation and the fifth factor is presence of moisture or humidity so if humidity or moisture is more the evaporation will decrease you should learn this so as i told earlier if we hang our clothes in uh, summer season the evaporation will be more whereas if you hang the clothes in the winter season or rainy season evaporation will be less because in the atmosphere humidity will be more so evaporation will be less so explanation of evaporation by molecular model Ex to understand it let's analyze the top layer of water in a glass water particles on top layer have no water particles above them and they are loosely attached compared to particles at depth after gaining sufficient energy these surface molecules sometime detaches from surface and become free sometimes collision of air particles detach them from surface as they detach they become free and become part of air such way of conversion from liquid to gas is called evaporation our clothes gets dry because of evaporation so evaporation produces the cooling produces cooling why so if uh, if we take an alcohol if we take an alcohol If you take an alcohol sanitizer or sanitizer, if you take an alcohol or sanitizer, put it on our palm, put it on our palm. It evaporates fastly. It evaporates fastly, and it gives the cooling effect. Cooling effect. Our hand became cool. Why? We have learned that evaporation gives cooling effect. Why it gives cooling effect? Because evaporation needs some heat. Okay, evaporation needs some heat. For evaporation, it needs some heat, right? For that heat, it takes the heat from our hand. It takes the heat from our hand. If it is a pond, it takes the heat from our from the surrounding area. If we put on a pond, it take it takes the heat from our palm. so we will feel, feel cool if we if there is a river if there is a pond we will feel cool in the pond because while well, evaporation of water it takes the temperature from the surrounding area that's the reason why we feel cool in the evaporation while evaporation is taking place 
Let's learn about application of evaporation. How we use evaporation? In summer, water gets uh, water gets cooled in an earthen pot. Means in mud pot, water gets cooled. The reason is that. So, the reason is that. The reason is that while evaporation of water, while evaporation of water, water particles, while evaporation of water particles to atmosphere, water particles they need some heat, right? It takes the heat from the water. It takes the heat from the water. That's the reason that it will be cool. So the second is doctor advised to put a strips of wet cotton on our forehead. Why we will put uh, when we are eat when we are um, feeling sick doctor advised to keep the wet uh, um, stripes on our forehead the reason is that the wet the water on the wet strips should evaporate while evaporating it takes the heat from the head or from the body so that's the reason the doctor advised to keep white strips on our forehead during um, fever so this thing the third application is we often pour a tea in a saucer to cool it faster so if we take a cup if we take a cup we have discussed that the evaporation only occur in a surface area so if we keep in a long container like this the same ml of water in a long container evaporation will be more so it will become cool so that's the reason we will put in a saucer that's the reason we will put in a saucer because this must be cool if we keep in a cup only surface this surface will be cool only so that's the reason we will put in a cool so evaporation also help us in maintaining the body temperature okay so let's we learn about differentiation between evaporation and boiling so evaporation is a slow process boiling is a rapid process also known as fast process it takes place at surface of a liquid as i said earlier it takes place only at the surface of a liquid whereas boiling takes place throughout the mass of a liquid it ta evaporation takes place at all temperature boiling takes place at a specific constant temperature which is which is called as boiling point evaporation at all temperature boiling at a specific temperature say 100 degree celsius evaporation the temperature of surrounding area falls during evaporation what happen it requires heat and it takes heat from the surrounding area so uh, the temperature will be falling in a surrounding area during boiling the temperature of a surrounding area remain constant and may be become hot also i hope this is clear let's let's we move on through the sublimation and deposition this we dealt in the last or the previous videos only let, let, let me deal it again sublimation is the direct change from solid to vapor state or gas state and deposition or solidification means direct change from vapor state to solid state that is known as the deposition so here is an experiment to show the sublimation and deposition so i'm going to do the experiment watch that it, the sublimation of iodine and the things required for the experiment are bunsen's burner tripod stand wire goes for uniform heating we require a small glass funnel with one of its ends this thin end covered with the cotton we required we require some iodine and this is our iodine and I'll show you how does an iodine look like. So there are small balls of iodines which is there in the crucible. This crucible is heat resistant so it won't break if we even heat till 400 to 500 degrees Celsius. So now let's start the experiment. So now I'm going to mount this entire setup on the Bunsen's burner. So. I have ensured that whatever fumes due to sublimation are produced, they must not escape out. So that's why we are putting this cotton over here. So now let's see what is going to happen. 
as you can see that the purple fumes of iodine have started to come out and I don't want these fumes to escape out. Now iodine sublimates that means from direct solid state it will convert into gaseous state and I don't want these fumes of purple fumes of iodines to get out so that's why we have plugged a cotton piece over there. So we are expecting the gaseous iodine to get collected on the surface of this funnel and when we stop heating that gaseous fumes are going to again convert back into the solid state. So now let's lift this and see Wow, wonderful Now let me switch off the Bunsen's burner See the beautiful ring of the iodine which has sublimated which has resublimated back deposited on the walls of the internal walls of the this funnel look at the beautiful ring so i hope you watch the ex oh, uh, experiment so let's learn about explanation of sublimation by molecular model so i'm going to read out this and i'm going to explain to you in some solids the intermolecular force of attraction is weak. So in solids only, in some solids such as camphor, already the intermolecular force of attraction will be weak. Like liquid it will be, but it exists in the solid state. It exists in the solid state, but force of attraction state will be like liquid only. So like this it will be arranged. So while eating, while eating what happened? While eating... So the solid state, it ran, it's many, all solid does not have package like this. All solids will have, mostly all solids will have like this only, tight packing. But some solids such as mouth balls or uh, we can also call as the naphthalene balls and camphor have arrangement like this. So in those substance, when we eat, what happened? It gives the sufficient energy it gives the sufficient energy and became like this if it became like this we can understand that is a gas so that's the reason is uh, why it changes directly into solid to gas because the in some solids the intermolecular of force of attraction will be weak in that solids when we eat uh, the intermolecular of force of attraction will be vanished and intermolecular space will come and it directly changes into vapor state i hope this is clear and we're going to meet in the next chapter of physics or else uh, to, tomorrow i'm going to start from chemistry because i haven't uploaded chemistry videos yet now and before ending this